Lux. TFS Properties invited 15 of our clients out to Houston, Texas to see the manufactured homes. We had investors that were buying one or two homes at about fifty dollars to $100,000 per portfolio. And we had other investors that were looking to buy anywhere between 15 to 20 homes. By going out to Houston, the investors get a first-hand opportunity to see the properties for themselves. Ultimately, we wanted to see if our manufactured homes were a good fit for their particular financial strategy and their investment portfolios. One of the clients happened to be a referral from another broker out in Los Angeles. They were coming out of a 1031 exchange and had only two weeks approximately to identify their replacement properties. Another client of ours that happened to fly out was a longtime client of Rusty's, our CEO. He had actually invested in Houston before in some of these sub pockets of the MSA. To go into further detail, he actually had a property near one of our manufactured home parks out in Conroe, Texas, but he wasn't quite familiar with the manufactured homes as an investment property. The third client was gearing for retirement. About half of his identification period was also exhausted, but with about 17 days left, we put together a proposed portfolio. This investor instantly fell in love with the product once he realized what his returns would be uh, from investing in these manufactured homes. Well, we're starting off in Nueces Park, which is 240 spaces, brand new. I think it's like three years old. They built it from scratch. They're gonna add another 140 spaces to it in the next two years, all the permits are in place. And then in this park, we've got three homes, I believe, that we're, the on-site's gonna show us that are not new, not old. They're not for sale, but it's to give everybody an idea of what we're talking about mass-wise on a home. Then we'll, we'll go to Nueces, and then from there, we'll probably head to the Woodlands and then over to Katy. After the manufactured homes tour, I had to take care of that client with $2.8 million left in his exchange. With about 14 days left to identify, the client had to buy up to $2.8 million in real estate from the sale of his Koreatown building uh, that was approximately 20 units subject to rent control. We weren't going to allocate all of that into the manufactured homes. As a matter of fact, we had two apartment complexes that were perfect candidates to fill the remainder of his portfolio. The first home was an apartment building that was an eight and a half percent cap rate property. It needed a little bit of work, hence it was being sold uh, below market value uh, because it required an investor who was willing to put in his sweat equity to stabilize the property. The other property, consequently, was a newer property that had been fully rehabbed and that property as a result was at a six cap. But pretty much all the work was virtually done, so there was no real added value our investor could bring to increase the price of the property. We wanted to check both just to compare. We ended up coming to the consensus that we were willing to invest in the property that needed more work because the returns were significantly higher. When we came back to Los Angeles, we wrapped up the paperwork, we put in our offer, and we were able to enter escrow on the property within days of it being listed on the open market. Yeah. I'm not